Welcome to Los Angeles International Airport. Everybody's flocking to the city of dreams, hoping to hitch their wagon to a star. Passport, please. What is the purpose of your visit? I'm an actor, douchebag. <laughs> I'm a psychic superstar. I'm a documentary filmmaker. I'm here to win prizes, sweet cheeks. Are you traveling alone? Oh, no, I've got my mum in here. What these three men don't realize is that fame and fortune are fleeting. It's stupidity that's eternal. Welcome to La La Land. Chico. Yes, Mr. Charlie. Do you know who that is there? John Lennon. Well, the spirit is saying to me, sometimes this card, it means that you might end up getting assassinated. Would you understand? Yeah, I understand. OK. Uh, Rock Hudson. Eight. Hello? Hi, my name is uh, Mary, and I'm working to put together a psychic gala featuring Gladys McCann. And we're just looking for somebody to sort of open the show. Um, so we were wondering if Shirley Gosen might be available. How much money? Uh, yeah, how much money you... Um, it's $200, which is, you know, pretty good for the opening slot. Uh, $200? Uh-huh. No, 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 don't lose it. You need to say something like, um, don't bullshit me, bitch. What have you got? Do something oh, like you that. Do this? Okay. Intimidate her. Go on. Don't bullshit me, you know. I'm it not, has... $200 or he's not... No, no, he no, he working to less than the, the, the $1,000. No, I'm going to pay you $200 or else I'm going to call somebody else. All right, I'll do it, I'll do it. Tell him I'll do okay. it. Just okay, hold on, hold on. So you pour beer over ice. Dean Martin taught me to do that. After a series of setbacks, Gary is reassessing his approach to cracking Hollywood. Anyway, let's go back to how you walk into a room or how you walk out on a I'll stage. I'll just go in, I'm like... No, you don't just go and do... <clears throat> right. That's most unattractive. Jesus, Stop this is... Al, you've acting. got a bit of a... Oh, I... I you know why? Because I care. I know. I care that you're not making an ass out of yourself. I don't wanna, I'm thinking if I go in... And if I'm you like, go right. in, just be yourself. Uh -huh. But learn how to project that self. But you think I need better togs? There's a fellow that I want you to see. And maybe, just maybe, I'd be able to help you. So go see him and we'll talk. OK. OK. Cool. Are you? Hi. Are you Bobby? Yes. You must be Gary. How are you? Yeah. Have a All seat. Right. Have a seat. I am America's leading paragon of style, an ultimate cultural immortality, dazzler and eclipser. There's only one Bobby Trendy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you startled? I'm by sorry, my yeah, appearance? a little bit, you know. My name says itself, Bobby Trendy. You can Google that all day and night. Right. Millions of images will pop up. So many people would love to be me. So many of them. Are oh. you one of those girls you know. up top, you know, and like, all lumpy down below? Um, no, 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 no. These, these are just fancy clothes. I'm just a boy. I like fancy things. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is this Ruto? Is she behind this? We are going to help you. He's punked, isn't it? He? Ashton Kutch is going to no, come out. This is for real. <laughs> We're here to help you. Very good. Very good. Right, you can come out, Ruta. She's done this, hasn't she? Put you up, got you all dressed up, silly. Got you come in here. Oh, mate, I'm not having a makeover by a little child dressed as a medieval time traveller. Right, we're, a child. I ain't going to tell me what I wear. We're going to help is... you. Who's doing this? The audition lines are around the corner, everyone. Is this punk? Bring that little bitch back here. Downtown, Brendan has begun work on his most ambitious idea yet. He plans to build a hotel for the homeless in just one day and film the process. Architect Richard Best has agreed to design Brendan's hotel. I'm interested in making a hotel for homeless. And I thought, hotel, you've got hotel. So you've got hob. Tell. Tell, basically. So that, like if that. there was no one there, that would be hobo. Right, right, right. And if, okay. I think I would shy away from hobo. 
hobo word. It's hotel, hobos, hotel. Felt okay. that that would kind of be a catchy thing that the public could kind of grab onto. But um. okay, um, look, rather than patronise these people, I went into the streets <clears throat> armed with some crayons and some beers, and I got them to just etch down what they thought. Oh, I need to see that. Well, that's what I think we should look at. I mean, these are quite basic. There's one in particular that I was thinking oh, those of. Those are great. I and mean, this is quite an inventive <clears throat> idea. This is a beer can. Yes, it is. It's just a shame. Well, let's look at what else it presents, right? I mean, this is something that this person's very familiar with, beer. Yeah. Right, so he's communicating through the use of that. I mean, this is taking it to an extreme is not one that I feel we could even do. Mm -hmm. what, what is the connective tissue amongst all these is habitation and flexibility. Yeah. Well, that's that's cool. I, it looks cool, but it's just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, just okay. Things. Okay, thank you. Oh, bloody hell. There's some of your, there's some of our uh, population right, right there as we speak. Got that in your pocket. What is that? It's a spray and may spray if oh. they do come over. When you press this down, it just jets like a spray in their face. Okay. It'll just knock them back. Okay. It'll just spray them. O outside of the filming, tell me the rest of the schedule. How long are you shooting this? When when else could we the make it? The whole day. Oh, the whole We're day. Go uh, all the way one through, day. right the way up to nightfall. Have a party. These guys can bring all their friends. And at the end of today, it's it's done. It's done. In Studio City, Shirley is preparing for his performance in tonight's Psychic Showcase. For me, could we do some flickering of the lights like that? So it looks like spirits have got into the building. Yes. Do you want it to come out on when you come out? Right, OK. So uh, mm. what kind of, or do we have total control over the I lights? may if I'm inspired to. I just thought that. OK. Um, uh, that's a lovely shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Hi, guys. How do you do? Hi. Good. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Can I just say I'm a huge fan? Thank you. Yeah. No, you're from England or what? Yes, yeah, well, ah. Manchester, just outside of Manchester, Oldham. So are you wearing the amethyst to ward off negativity? Yeah. <laughs> you are wise as I sit there with oh, my... Oh, wow, my oh, God, God that's honey. gorgeous. Oh, yes. Wow. Aren't these fun? But, no, it wards off negativity, and it also promotes your psychic ability. I have uh, two raw ones in a, in yeah, a sack. It's so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Did you, you bring it? I do have them. Well, because really? I was saying, you stick it in one in your pocket when you're reading. That's right. Jack, can I see your amethyst? Yeah. Yep. My God, that is huge. One in each pocket. Yep. They are lovely. Great. Not the first person to touch my amethyst and call them lovely. <laughs> <laughs> you are so bloody flirty. Oh, no. Yes, you are. So are you doing makeup? Yeah. How about you run along, give us boys uh, some time alone to collect our thoughts? Yeah, I can Well, we're just going to eat now. After she's done, we're going to eat. Oh, are we? Yeah. But now, I mean right now, just um, to give us a bit of time. Yeah, I'll just I was just going to say, are you serious about the amethyst thing? What? Oh, no, no, no. I was, I was playing. I was just teasing. Do you want to exchange numbers? No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm straight. Sorry. I'm straight. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Honest to God? Totally serious? I'm straight, too. <laughs> no, I am. I am, actually. OK. I'm completely straight. I keep getting... You putting thoughts in my head, if you know what I mean. I'm putting thoughts in your head? You know. No, I don't. No. Let's put your collar straight. There we go. You look bloody gorgeous. That looks great. There we go. We should go out for a drink sometime. I'm here for the show. I know, but you want to go out for a drink afterwards? No. Okay. Back at the site, Brendan is in talks with the president of Fatburger about building a restaurant in his hotel for the homeless. I'm not building a restaurant. We're not building a restaurant. I can't do that. And I want that understood. 
Let's do it. And then we could just shake. But I okay, can't. And I we're can't. rolling. Just me, I can't. So what are you going to do for us today? I can't do that today. No, no, and cut. No, no, so, yes. so if you just do that bit, we do all that. But my guys are going to come in and roll it, Kiki. I can't. Okay. I can't. I'm right. not going to commit. So I'm what not is going to gonna happen? No, don't say that. I'm That's just not going to I know, but I That's can't. That's not going to work. I'm not, I'm not That's gonna, not going to work. That isn't going to work, though. Okay, can we cut that? Cut that. Cut that. I'm not going to commit to $400,000 or $500,000 and be held responsible six months. That would be great. I can't say it. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. We're building this today, and what are you guys going to do? I can't. Roll I can't. Kiki. I can't roll commit it. that okay. today. So, I can't. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? I think that you have a great idea. Thank what you, you very doing. much. So okay. Much. Thank you. And I think that what you need to so do. You're bringing is you guys in, and we're gonna. I can't commit to God, that today. Can we cut this? Come I on. want so you to understand. You some, okay. Can you do some noddies, Kiki? Come around, and nod. Just look at me and nod, and then say, "I'm in." I'll help you oh, no, get no, this no, idea. No. I can't. Just say I'm in. Yeah. Say we're in. Something like just to get the sound bite. I'm, I can't commit to say we're in because I believe there's too big it's a fine. commitment right it. there. I can cut into that. You know, I can literally cut around that. You said the words, which is fine. So you heard it here first. Um, Fat Burger are going to be uh, coming down here, building the restaurant. We're going to have people, homeless guys, coming in here. They're going to actually run the restaurant. I take it, serve the burgers. So it's all good news. That's fine. And cut. Still trying to work out how best to present himself, Gary is hoping actor Arthur Cade will give him a master class in self-confidence. Nice Arthur Cade, the one, the only. So tell me, like, tell me, what do you want? I mean, what's your goal here? I want to be the, the, the bestest actor in the world, like ever. What have you done so far to make that happen? Um, I'm like doing, well, I've done like acting in the UK. And then uh, I come here, my mum my mom died. Okay. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I wear tight jeans, I wear funky sneakers, but that's who I am and I'm gonna show the world. If they don't like it, fuck them. They love it, great. I've never failed at anything I've done, never. I was number one in the Fortune 500 company and I broke every record. I did shit that's never been done before. I was making six figures, I was killing it. I was banging the hottest chicks, traveling to the coolest places, but the challenge was over. I've got unbelievable looks and where I'm happy is being on the stage, whether it's a stage one-on-one -on -one or it's a stage in front of millions and millions of people in a movie or television show. One of the big things that's in my blog is I rate women. You know, so if you and I were sitting here and a girl walks by, smoking hot girl, dude, she's got great tits and an ass. Yeah. She's an eight. I'd fuck the shit out of her. Right. Or I, you know, she needs uh, a nose job. We would have that discussion. Do you crab roll? Yes. Hungry. Kate is hungry. Oh, right, brilliant. Enjoy. Three, three and a half to four. Three and a half. Three and a half to four and a half. Right. I don't usually co comment under six, so I just gave you a range. So, I'm doing things that have never been seen before. I mean, that's what people are saying right now. And I have all of Hollywood following the journey, cheering, and people see that and they recognize that. How are you doing that? No. How yeah. many teeth do you think I've got? Teeth? 36. I don't know, 40. Nine? Five. Nine? What does that mean? Does that make you more successful? Go on, guess. 38. No. 39. Colder. 41. Cold. 44. You should go down the other way. Just tell me. It doesn't matter. You can't guess, can you? I'll give you three more guesses and that's it. 36, 37, 38. No. It's 33. Okay. So, uh, part of me. <laughs> Jack, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, I am a clairvoyant, remote viewer. Uh, I've worked internationally. Also was featured by the Associated Press in 2006, 2007, and 2008. I also predicted the collision of a U.S. naval submarine with an oil tanker three months before it happened. Last summer, when the Russians invaded Georgia, I had predicted that. Documented prediction of the invasion of Georgia. Yeah. Look at that picture there. Oh, and I'm a research associate with um, um, internationally acclaimed parapsychologist, Dr. Barry E. Taff. I hate talking about myself. Cool. Um, I, uh, could you put, for me, something like, um, uh, uh, he has come to walk among us. He has come. Thank you. To walk among us. Psychic. What did you put in his water? You put something in there. No. No, I didn't. I was, uh, no, I haven't been anywhere near it. You smell it, I think it should be fine. Actually, I have to go to the men's bathroom. All right. Ugh. 
I wouldn't drink it. He should probably drink it. Um, okay. He should drink it. He won't eat. And why did you say it? Because I saw it, and I just wondered what the heck it was. What was just it? Just to take the edge off for him, because I can see he's nervous. To well, be honest, uh, did you ever... while he's not here, I am just feel a bit threatened by him as well, because he's been putting thoughts into my head Listen. for the last hour. Like, quite Listen. sexual thoughts. Really? Yeah, like, I've got a tingling in my anus, and he's been putting it there, and I know he has, because he's quite predatory. I can see it in his eyes. Show me his amethyst. Well, I don't personally feel like what you did is okay, and I no longer want you to be part of this performance. Meanwhile, back at the site, Brendan is meeting with Leslie Harris, an interior designer who has agreed to work on the project. Brendan? Hold on, let me just get... Just because there's a couple of homers over there. And if they do come close. I don't want to treat them like that. OK, okay well, so I'd so rather hold on to the car. OK, that's right, all yeah. right. What are we doing here? We're building a bloody hotel. Right, but we're doing it right now, right here? Well, no, we're just designing the room. This okay, is to what, try to raise more money for? We're doing it today. The launch is tonight. They need to see the hotel. It doesn't matter if we haven't finished it, but unless it's a few floors high, we're going to be fucked. So we just need to... Kiki, can you come around and film? Start filming. Stay back. Brandon, what is it about them that scares you so much? They stink. Yeah. They're... And yet you're building a house to house them? Can we them? cut? Yes. And it'll win me prizes when this thing gets released. OK. So yeah. that's more of your concern than helping them? Uh. Well, that's what we're all doing it for, isn't it, really? OK, film this. No. So we're just going through uh, room design, uh, and we're now going to move on and actually build the thing, aren't we, the hotel? So... Uh, Leslie? Leslie is going to be laying some of the first bricks. Let's see how we get on. Brilliant. OK, and cut. Right, OK, done. Next bit, we need to just lay some bricks. I'm going to go to Home Depot. <laughs> What did the architect have to say? It has to be designed. He said we couldn't do it. No, no well, you can't. Oh, no. Jack, can you not film this? You need structural engineers. You need permits oh, by the city. Be, 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 be me. If you're positive, you're a hippie. You should know about I'm this. I'm not a hippie. I know, but you smoke pot, so no, you should... No, I don't. We're just going to build it, all right? I'd like to see them come and try and shut us down, and we'll be like hippie power. Do you have city we'll be... permits? Yeah. Yes. What do you want me to say? <laughs> This guy does not belong here. Go. He's got to go. He's got to go. This guy needs to either leave voluntarily or be escorted off by the police. He's okay. beyond eccentric. He's dangerous. Jack. Yes, sir. We're all square now, aren't we? We've, it was my mistake. You um, better believe it was your mistake. I don't want to fucking see you. Well, I've got a, a tingling around my anus earlier. My anus isn't tingling. My fists are tingling. Um, and what about the tingle in the anus? Yeah, he, that's I a lie. I don't want him going out on that stage. No, he doesn't belong here anymore. It's it, man. Right, all done and dusted. We're all ready. He's happy. I'm happy. But we're not happy. Come on. I'm ready to physically escort you out myself. That's a threat, man. You're threatening me now. You see? I'm threatening to call the police right now. Police. You gotta go. <laughs> The sun is setting on Brendan's documentary about building a hotel for the homeless. In his rush to find backers for the project, Brendan has forgotten to cancel the party he scheduled for the grand opening. Right, you can get there. Gather around like there's a party. <laughs> right, can we get... Right, that's great. Kiki, can you get a shot of them clapping me? What am I even doing trying to build a bloody hotel? Because it's bullshit. Because, you know, I, I, I've been into cathedrals around the world and, and none of them have got a roof as pretty as that. Look at that. We all live under that bloody roof. All of us. I just wanted to say I've learned a lot about myself as a documentary filmmaker. And I've learned a lot about um, homeless people. Can you shut up a you second? Said five minutes. It is. I'm not going over it's five been minutes. Over five, we're going to cut the thing in a minute. Right, cut the thing. Because we're all bloody home. Hold it tight. Because we're all bloody homeless. <laughs> Having learned nothing from Bobby Trendy or Arthur Cage, Gary decides to hit a bar and fall back on what he knows best. 
can I just say, if like heaven was missing a uh, angel, I oh, know. Hold on. If like if heaven was uh, missing an angel, if you if you was dead and you were in a sorry, I don't like if heaven was missing an angel, you. I don't. Ah, oh, Jesus. Hold on. Let me do this again. Oh, sorry. I was just. I literally was. I didn't. I wasn't doing nothing, mate. Sorry. I was just saying, like, what about tonight? Two becomes three. What? What about two becomes three tonight? I mean, what is this, a fucking Spice Girls song or what, dude? You know what I mean, don't you? Nah, we ain't no fucking swingers or nothing like that. I man. know, but like at Christmas time once, we're at Mickey's place, me and like Mickey, I woke up, I didn't know what was going on, and he had Sandra like mucking about by the Christmas tree, and then like I couldn't get hard on anyway, it was like putting a bloody marshmallow into a slot machine. Because Sandra's quite fit, and she was there like, and he was bringing her nipples up, and I was trying to like get. In there, but I couldn't, and he was like, Go on, do it. And I'm like, No, mate. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't rise to the occasion. But. It sounds like a personal problem, but <coughs> you, you can't be angry in this bag, but. No, it's just my mum in there. Here's to my mum. Yeah. Pass her out. Pass her out. I would like you to have a little bit of my mum. Because no. we, honestly, we have had the best time, mate. Would you just take a little sprinkle? A little bit in our drinks, just to uh, finish the night off. Right, Billy, let's just go back to Rooters and have a spit roast. We're not going back to your house. We were sitting here having a right laugh, and then bloody Grumpy Grots turned up, and it all went a bit. fucking grumpy, bro? You're going to have a great night tonight. She's I have all... a great night every night. I know, but I've worked her all up now. And you can take that and do with it as you will. I'm going to go. Huh? Give me a call, and remember me tonight when you're doing your stuff. All right? Listen, like, you know, you are... You are the most beautiful... If heaven was missing an angel, you'd be a... If you were an angel, then you'd be dead with... There's like... I don't know what the thing is, but whatever that is, that's you. Has your father passed over? Okay, no. Has yours? Okay. Um, would it, it look, you know, it's just because... It might be... Do you have a scar here? No. No? Okay. I yeah. can help you and you can help me and we can work together. Okay, but please. Let's go outside for a second. What is going no, on? No, we need to. What do you mean? No. I'm, I'm sorry. Help. I can help her. No. You're not going to help me. Give me some eye contact. Okay. You got my eyes? Yeah. Well, you are in for a lot more entertainment and joyful interaction this evening. I was supposed to be on that stage tonight. I, I, right? I trust and you. And she took it away from me and filled it to Okay, now you're doing the victim thing. Glynis wrote the best-selling book, Glynis Has Your Number. I'm an ex-naval commander. You want to take me on, dude? Take me on. Take me I on right this way. Look, I don't care what sexual orientation you are. I am just saying. I said I naval want. commander. Why did you bring up sex? Uh, she's a recurring guest on the Tony Danza show. Yeah, she's going to go out there and fall on her ass. No, and it's a big one. Gonna. It's a bloody big one, and she's not going to be bouncing, all right? Glynis McCants has truly mastered the science of numerology. Now, you got a problem with me, dude. So, uh, <sighs> Please welcome Glynis McCants. Shirley's here. Shirley's here. Get him out of here. Shirley's fucking here. Hi, guys. Don't bring it down my time. Bring it down my time. Get off my time. Get off my time. Get off my time. Let's give a hand to the energy and turn it around. Let's turn it around. Thank you. OK, watch it. I'm not kidding. Huh? That's, that's it. That's the one. Okay. Will you just get off me? Just say. You look what you did to me. Look what they did to me, Glenis. Let's go off the stage. Please. No. Give me a chance. Oh my God. You said. Oh my just God. Just give me a chance. Okay. Can you I'm believe getting, this shit? I'm, I'm getting a George. 
Hey, can, can somebody sign. call the police, George? George? I need he's a on squad spirit, car Sarge. at the Theater West in he's Los Angeles. He's either really tall right now. or he's still on the chair. Yes, yes. can you claim uh, George? The call came in about earlier. Okay, I feel your pain, I feel your shame, but you're not to blame. It's very common for ladies of your age you need to try to drink less coffee. And the people in Walmart, they have got cleaners to clean all that up. Would you understand? All right, OK. Leave me alone! Give me a chance! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! That's a sight! Me and Mickey are mad letting me up. All right. Yeah. But, like, when you get the two of us together, I mean, Jesus. I've known Mickey, like, all my life. I met him when I was, like, four. Tell you what, though, mate. Huh? I wish he was here. Cos, like, it don't matter what experiences you have, does it? Yeah. If you ain't got someone to share him with... Why don't you call him? You know, you can call him, right? Yeah, I can call him. Mickey! What time is it out there, mate? Must be early. Jesus Christ. What are you doing up? Are oh, you doing the market, right? Hey, Mickey. Things are going well out here. You know, doing like acting and all that, networking, going to the parties, there's loads of fit birds and all that. Hey, Mickey. I miss you, mate. It's crazy out here. I don't. I'm like having a. I'm having a brilliant time. Look, mate, I've just pulled up outside a club and it's all a bit mad, so I'm gonna have to go. I'll catch you later. Yeah, all right, mate. Bye.